Well, hey, Google, what were the top searches in 2021? Well, we don't have a Google device handy right now, but nonetheless, for a look at what led Canadians to Google it, we're joined by communications manager Haibak Ali at Google Canada. Haibak, thanks for joining us this morning. So uh, we love lists this time of year, and Google has compiled several. Uh, let's get into the top news searches, because, of course, this is a news program. Uh, what, were, what were Canadians really interested in this year? Well, you know what? First, I'll say that, you know, the last few years have definitely been unpredictable. Um, but this year in search was really dominated by questions around the vaccine. We also were searching for information on the federal election and then other current events. But, you know, some of the, the key categories that Canadians were really interested in this year was around sports. Okay, and Habak, uh, aside from sports and news, uh, Canadians also very curious as to what life will look like after the pandemic focused on recovery. And they asked a lot of uh, why questions and how to. So what were some of those on those lists? Yeah, so one of the, the top why questions happened back in August when Canadians asked, why did Prime Minister Justin Trudeau call an election? So, of course, that snap election back in August had many people curious about the Prime Minister's rationale for that decision. But we also saw a lot of questions about Canadians asking how to register to vote, which was great to see many people being engaged in the, the election process. Um, and then we had a lot of people asking questions about vaccine passports. So, you know, the pandemic restrictions started to loosen earlier this year, Canadians search for vaccine passport information so that they could really understand the policies so that they could, you know, participate when reopening started to, to happen. And, and Hibok, how to, that is a, I love typing in how to into Google because I love the autofill uh, kind of to see what everyone else is asking for. The other day I was looking for a, a rub to, to make a pork uh, loin roast. Uh, so some of the how to's were not applicable at all. But what were people asking how to do? What were asking people Google how to do? People were asking for a lot of different things in a lot of different categories in, in that how-to. So again, how to get a vaccine passport, top the list. Uh, people were asking also how to make money from home. So, you know, unfortunately, a reality mm -hmm. of our stay-at-home orders earlier this year meant that a lot of people had their livelihoods impacted. So Canadians were trying to find different ways to, to make money from home. Um, but also, you know, to keep themselves entertained during the lockdowns, people were asking, you know, how to make chocolate bombs or, or how to get rid of a, a stuffy <laughs> nose. So just different ways for, for them to get that information. Wow, fascinating stuff uh, mm -hmm. indeed. And Haba, can you talk about uh, some of the other things on the list that show you kind of the trend of what Canadians are really focused on right now? Because there were some really special moments in 2021 yeah. as well, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And so, like I mentioned, sport was a really big year um, for Canadians in search this year. So people were really interested in, in the NBA. And, you know, although unfortunately our Raptors didn't make the playoffs this year, Canadians were still following along the NBA and that uh, the series against the Milwaukee Bucks and, and the Phoenix Suns. Um, it was also a really great year for some of our Canadian athletes. So again, the Tokyo Olympics, we had, you know, three athletes really making our list. Penny Olenciak, Andre DeGrasse and Damian Warner. They all had a amazing years at the Olympics this year. And then at the U.S. Open, we had some incredible performances by some of our tennis stars. So Leila Fernandez, you know, she beat the defending champion Naomi Osaka. So a lot of Canadians curious about her. Um, and then uh, Bianca Andrescu, another one people were definitely interested in seeing how she performed. And Felix O'Shea Eliassime, another young tennis star out of Montreal, made our list as well. It's, it's so great to hear how great uh, tennis and Canadian tennis is looking. I wonder when you take a look at this year's list compared to last year's list, was that was the Venn diagram, was there a lot of overlap or was it significantly different? Um, in terms of uh, COVID-19, there were some similarities, but a lot of, a lot of differences. So in, last year in 2020, Canadians were really interested in learning more about COVID and understanding the symptoms and, you know, really just trying to understand what was happening in the world around them when it came to COVID. This year, Canadians were more interested in understanding the vaccine mm. and next steps to getting our economy reopened. Okay, and Habak, lastly, let's talk about uh, some of the entertainment trends that Google uh, w was searching. I was very surprised to see in terms of top musicians. Started with Travis Scott at number one and then ended with Travis Barker at number 10. Everyone else in yeah. between. <laughs> 
Yeah. So our musicians, um, uh, you know, Travis Scott, unfortunately, he made the list, not necessarily for his music, but, mm -hmm. you know, people were interested in that Astro World Festival incident. Um, Travis Barker made our list because he proposed to his uh, fiance, Kourtney Kardashian, earlier this year. Um, but for musicians this year, a really big moment for Olivia Rodrigo. She had a breakout year when she released her song, uh, Driver's License, which shattered a lot of streaming records. Um, and then she released her full album this year. So great for her. And then in movie movies, um, we had our very own Simu Liu, who mm -hmm. starred in Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, so that Marvel film taking the top spot for movies. And, and you hit on something right there. It's not just because you did something good or people are necessarily curious. It could be because you're in the media for potentially the wrong reasons right. or not necessarily the greatest of reasons that your, your name sort of jumps up the Google search uh, sort of rankings, right? Yeah, there's a variety, a variety of different reasons as to why Canadians search what they do. But for our for our entertainers this year, it was uh, really diverse. Absolutely. Yeah. Baka cool Lee from Google Canada. Appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.